The story of Dolores started at Burgess South High School on the second floor in the guidance suite of Queens Community House. That's where I meet Bianca for the first time. Sat right here, having conversation, talking about everything, anything. So what I was providing her is information about post-secondary, meaning is it college or trade school? Or even like, especially during COVID, Bianca was pregnant and I was the only one who knew about that. So during COVID, a lot of families deal with grief, unemployment, financial instability, food instability. And from there, we decided to start wellness assessment, COVID assessment, and ask the family, this is what we have to offer from cash relief, housing assistance, medical, mental, um, even providing like resources and food pantry in the community. And Bianca one day told me, my mom needs assistance to pay the rent. I'm making green banana and then I'm cooking some flitters, saltfish flitter, but I can't saltfish. This is Jamaican national dish, I can't saltfish. When COVID come, everything changed. No job, no money. I stress about the rent because I always stress about my rent. So, you know, you think, you've been thinking a lot. What are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? Who going to help you and so forth? So, that's always my thinking. Miss May's story, living through the pandemic, unemployed. This is a common story that our families are going through. Honestly, people are here that are willing to help you to get your stuff. It's just you have to, like, get up and find who is willing to help, like give a helping hand. And I said, look, send me the last lease, last receipt, and from there I'll do the connection. And from there, it will go to housing, and housing will take over from there. This wellness check that ended, without it, we might have missed this referral and not got the services that she needed. There is an option to get these rental arrears paid and stabilize her home, stabilize her home for her family. Sharif come in and tell me what I need to do. So he put me up for a, a food stamp, like for groceries, he tell me, ask me what and what I need. We completed the application called the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, right? And now it's just, there's a solution to her problem. When Sharif tell me about this program, he come along and say, oh, you don't have to worry about certain things because you can get along with help is there for you too. So yeah, you make you feel good. Give you a lot of hope. We're supposed to assist 450 families a year. That, that doesn't mean we stop at 450. Um, wellness check is not something that's part of any contract, contractual obligations. This is all keeping in mind our participants and their needs. And that's what QCH is about. So that's the way the story ends. Good morning.